There was one case of a teacher who had the parents of two of her students come and say they were planning to kill their children and themselves to escape this apocalypse. December the 21st, 2012, the so-called end of the world, it's just around the corner and it's got lots of people worried about everything from an asteroid strike to a World War III apocalypse. There's been so much attention on this issue that NASA thought it was their duty to put some of these fears to rest. So if you thought the world was going to meet its celestial end, here's Sam with some more details on why that's probably not the case. December 21st, 2012, a date that strikes fear into the hearts of many and that's mostly because it's the last day when you stand any chance of ordering something and getting it delivered for Christmas. But it's also partly because far from just the furious other half unwrapping an IOU it's the end of the Mayan calendar and therefore according to some the end of the world and that's got a lot of people worried. And not just anyone. NASA are so concerned about the rumours that are circulating and just how seriously people are taking them that they took the extraordinary step of bringing together the people in the world best place to predict Armageddon and opened the floodgates, taking questions from Joe Public. In particular, I'm concerned about the young people who write to me and say they are terribly afraid that they can't sleep, they can't eat. Uh, there was one case of a teacher in, in Stockton who had the parents of two of her students come and say they were planning to kill their children and themselves to escape this apocalypse. So while it's a joke to many people and a mystery to others, there is a core of people who are truly concerned, and I think it's appropriate that NASA should answer these questions that are being sent to us. The team answered questions on topics as diverse as why the Mayan calendar ends on this date. The current calendar is actually one of several cycles that last for thousands of years. And this current one simply ends on um, December 21st or 23rd, depending on who's doing the translation. The reason there is no other Maya calendar is because the Spanish arrived and the Maya civilization was um, essentially destroyed. Well, they do say Western civilization is eventually going to destroy itself. Moving on. So, firstly, Nibiru, a planet on a highly elliptical orbit which passes close to or hits Earth every 3,600 years. Except it's apparently quite unlikely to, because no evidence has ever been presented to say it even exists. This is such a pervasive idea that makes no sense, because if it were there, we could see it. It would be the brightest object in the sky after the sun and moon. There is a slightly more believable but equally controversial theory that suggests either a Jupiter-sized planet or a small star called Nemesis could be orbiting the sun far outside the orbit of Neptune. We can't see it, or at least we can't see it yet, but it could throw asteroids into our path. So what about a meteor strike? NASA insists they aren't quite as unprepared as many disaster movies would have you believe. The Earth is actually hit by meteors uh, on a daily basis. I mean, basketball-sized objects come in a couple times a, a day. They don't uh, do any damage because they burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. For an object to come through the Earth's atmosphere and cause ground damage, it has to be about 40 meters in diameter or larger. And those types of objects uh, don't occur but every 500 years. And uh, we know of no objects that are really of a concern uh, to Earth, uh, either this December or for the next several years. There is a real long-term concern about possible impacts. And that's why for the last almost 20 years, uh, we have been scanning the sky, specifically looking for asteroids, near-Earth asteroids, and have a catalog of about 10,000 of them now with determined orbits. And uh, I always uh, mention to people that one result of that is there has not been a single object found that's on a collision course with Earth. Moving on, polar shift. The <clears throat> theory that North and South are about to flip, turning the planet upside down, so apparently we all fall off the bottom, or something. This is absolutely ridiculous. The force required to do that, to change the way our planet rotates, would require an enormous other body to come here. And without that, there's no way to change the rotation of a huge planet like the Earth. Oh, that's disappointing. Galactic alignment was given short shrift by the experts too. The Earth and the Sun and the center of the Milky Way galaxy kind of sort of line up in late December every year. It's not December 21st and it's not an exact alignment. The, uh, the sun 
will be about 10 of its own widths away from the exact direction to the galactic center uh, when they get as close as they're going to get this year. And this year is no different than any other year. Oh, come on. There's going to be an Earth blackout, right? It's very uh, complicated where some of these rumors emerge. Uh, it's, it's completely without scientific basis. Something weird would have to happen with the sun. And there's nothing we know of physically that would allow the sun to turn off and then turn back on. So if, as NASA believe, none of this is going to happen, why is the date so significant? I think there have been a lot of different people who have jumped on board once the 2012 rumors started going and brought their own particular flavor of catastrophe to bear on this particular date of the winter solstice of 2012. I would, uh, would add to that only that, uh, that there are these different threads as you said, there's Nibiru going to crash into Earth, there's pole shifts, there's all sorts of other things, and they're really quite unconnected. It's just that they focus on this one date, and it's become a, a snowballing process. It's gone viral. Uh, there's nothing logical of why these different calamities should be associated with December 21st, but that's the situation we're in. Great work, Internet. But of course, this is all just food for those who believe NASA are disinformation officers trained to soothe public fears and avert a panic. So, what's your opinion? Is the world going to end on December 21st? Or is it just scaremongering? Comment, subscribe and let us know what you think. If you're not entirely convinced NASA are being up front with this, you're probably going to want to run to the hills or perhaps, even better, hide underground. Well, lucky for you, Sam has made a list of the best places to hide in the apocalypse. Check it out, it's annotated on the screen right now.